Well, if you guys are looking to get depressed and creeped out, then I think you've come to the right place. In the late 1800s, a once peaceful remote village is under attack. By who or what, no one knows. Villagers spread rumors of a cursed land, supernatural forces, and even demonic creatures. As the disappearances and killings continue, pathologist John McBride arrives to investigate the danger, only to discover something much deeper and more sinister than he ever could have imagined. This movie stars Boyd Holbrook and Kelly Riley, and is written and directed by Sean Ellis. So this is a different take on a werewolf story, and involves gypsies and an evil land baron, and the land is cursed, hence the title The Cursed. So right off the top, it's a pretty good movie. In the first five minutes, you're sucked in right away. Bruh. It has one of the best openings I've seen in a long time. There's this one shot where the camera sits perfectly still, and there's a gunshot and all hell breaks loose. And the camera doesn't cut for like two or three minutes, and you're just sitting there witnessing this whole disturbing scene. It's almost like you're the witness to this chaos, and the director wants you to ask yourself, what would you do in this situation? It reminded me of one of those... Denver airport murals and it's really really creepy and pretty disturbing and you're just witnessing all this horrible stuff happening. This movie has the same cinematographer, writer and director and I know it's a lot of work but you can feel his style and his footprint in this movie. It's so dark and foggy and depressing. I was the only person in the theater during this showtime and it felt phenomenal. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Boyd Holbrook gives a great performance. He's super entertaining in this film. He kind of turns into this badass hunter who really wants to kill this monster. I mean, he really, really wants to kill it. Also, the creature design is really unique. It breaks some of the rules that we're used to, and I think I prefer this approach. And it's pretty scary when you see it. This is truly a great period piece. It's got the costumes, the music, the creepy village people, the atmosphere, and the setting is done really well. It also creeps you out with all the crunching and the blood gushing and it's very, very graphic. So if you're looking for something a little violent, this one doesn't hold back. Also, Amelia Crouch as Charlotte and Kelly Riley as Isabel give very, very solid performances. They're very natural, very believable, and, and they're both standouts in this movie. There were times where it felt like an A24 movie, kind of like Hereditary or The Witch or The Green Knight. Uh, there's some disturbing imagery in this movie, and if that's what you're going for, then I highly recommend this movie. So let's get into the negatives, guys, because this was not a perfect movie. This movie has one too many dream sequences, but these dream sequences are integral to the story. They're kind of bring the village together to fight their werewolf, so it's integral to the story, but I feel like it could have shaved off maybe like 10 minutes. And definitely the third act dragged on. It felt like it was never ending. Also, the title was super generic. I mean, the curse sounds so... 2004. Hey! The movie could have been anything with that title. The original title was 8 for Silver, which sounds way more badass. The other thing was this movie felt like it could have been great. Like I feel like it was setting up something really, really good and it doesn't really hit a home run. Like, like I mean the ending was pretty good, but I really wanted to be like disturbed or kind of like have this movie affect me in some way. But it didn't really affect me the way I wanted it to. I thought it was going to go a different direction. I thought it was going to creep you out like one more time, but it doesn't. But give this movie a chance. It's not going to get a lot of views because it has a generic ass name. And of course, Batman's coming out. But I really liked it. I think the cinematography was great. It's a beautiful, foggy, depressing movie. It has a great character design. Uh, if you like monsters and creatures, it's it definitely takes a unique approach. Also, it did satisfy my bloodthirst for the week. I, I was really craving a lot of violence and gore and gushing happiness, but it did hit the mark for me pretty good. And with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and give The Cursed a B minus. <laughs> Or I'm probably going to give it an 83 if you're into numbers. But the question is for you guys. Did you like this movie? Did you like The Curse? Was it better than the Leatherface remake? Comment below. What's one of the scariest movies you've seen in the past five years? One of them for me is Hereditary. Definitely creeped the shit out of me. This movie was almost going that direction, but it didn't really hit home for me. All right, so that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for returning to the channel. If you like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button, comment below, and take care of yourself, guys. God bless, and we will see you on the next one.